one. He almost pulled one out of the fire there. Talk about that last second breakaway. Uh, I mean, there's a long ball, and, you know, uh, coaches were telling me to try to run off of Connor, and, you know, he, uh, he did a good job competing for it, and it felt a, a Cleverson, and, you know, he, he just played it through and found myself one-on-one -on -one against the keeper. And, uh, you know, that's, that's a chance, uh, you know, I need to put in the back of the net. And, uh, you know, I just looked at it again, and, you know, it, it looks like I should have just, you know, beaten him left or right, and, so, you know, I made the wrong decision. So it's, it's a tough one. Looking at your play, though, it does look like you've improved perhaps the most on the whole team in terms of your, your technical footwork. You know, you set up the chance to, to Klebers and to volley that Jack almost touched home. What have you done in this offseason to sort of improve your work on the ball? Uh, I mean, during the offseason, I just I went out and played a lot. You know, that's that's the only way you get better. So, uh, um, you know, that's that was one of the big things I, I wanted to do is get better technically. So, uh, you know, I went out and did a lot of ball work and uh, you know, did, did a lot of foot skills to, to try to get better so that, you know, it, it does, you know, look better when I'm on the field. In a game like this that gets as, as chippy as it did, what is it like for you as a player? Because not only is there physicality, it looked like there was a, quite a bit of play acting going on. Yeah, those games are tough, you know. Uh, you, you go out there and there's a lot of physicality, a lot of, a lot of people trying to draw cards uh, from each other. So those, that's a tough game to just come in and try to, you know, stay calm in. But... I think as a team, I think we did a pretty good job of, of staying clear of doing anything that was too, you know, too, too much play acting or you know too too physical. So I think as a team, I think we did a good job of of trying to contain ourselves and you know getting ourselves back into the game. So how would you grade your own performance throughout you know six games thus far this season? I have no idea. Just that's that's not for me to decide. You know, um, if coach keeps playing me, you know that means I, I'm definitely doing something right. And uh, if you know if he stops playing me, you know I'll ask him what, what he, he needs me to do. Uh, so I can go back get back on the field. Good luck next one. Ray Gaddis, rare appearance. Before we get you dressed with the bow tie on, do you take any joy out of grabbing that goal in the last seconds? I mean, th there's always a joy. Uh, we know we should have we should have got three points most definitely. We should have put more in. But uh, the take from the game, nevertheless, I mean, last year we, we wouldn't have came out with a result, any type of result. And uh, I mean, it's extraordinary because cause Jack is, uh, he's playing, he's in good form this year and he's scoring goals at the right time and scoring goals for our team in general. And uh, I mean, anytime you can see him to continue to score, it's good for our team. It builds confidence going into next week, knowing that we can pull out some type of result, not on the losing end. You play with a lot of intensity, but today what was coming through was a lot of frustration, whether it was at, at Toronto, the referee. What was going on out there that was getting you so riled up? Uh, I mean, I mean, uh, it was just, uh, I w it just was inconsistent, uh, and it just always we we kept stopping the game of play, and once we built up a, a, a flow of how we wanted to play, it was a stoppage to it. So it was just it was really tough for us to to get our rhythm, and and that was frustrating. I was more frustrated that we didn't we couldn't build our rhythm because the game kept stopping so much, really. How much did you expect that from this Toronto team in, in the lead up to the match? Uh, we knew it would be a scrappy team, but we didn't we didn't think that they would that would, they would sit on on the game so much like this. Or you know they they laid down a little bit here and there, but we didn't expect we didn't expect them to do that. But we expect them to always fight. We expect every team to come in and fight. Well, good run today. Thank you. All right, Jack. Another game. Another goal. Talk about getting yourself in the right place and, and the work you're doing off the ball to, to find those goals. Yeah, I think I've been a little lucky, you know, finding myself in the right place. But, uh, you know, the team's, you know, been getting into good situations and I've been on the end of them, been lucky enough to get on the end of them. So I think, uh, you know, it's a good result, you know, being down 1-0, but, you know, we needed to win the game today. You're doing a lot more work showing back into the midfield, getting on the ball and spreading it around. What has been talked about in the offseason? What have you been working on to get better at that? Uh, I think it. I think it just really depends who I'm playing up top with. You know, Connor. Con when Connor's playing up top with me, he can you know battle the center backs, and I can kind of come underneath and uh, you know pick up the ball off him. Where as Seba's up top, I think I need to be the one holding up the ball and him running off of me. So I think it's just you know formatting to to who I'm playing up top with. We talked last year about wanting a big target, a big guy like Connor. And it seems like you guys have some pretty quick chemistry. How do you feel it's going so far? Uh, it's been good. You know, it's still a young season. We've only played two games together, but you know, I think I think we've been playing well together, and I'm enjoying playing with them. And uh, you know, we've scored. You know, every game we've we've been playing together. So I think it, it's it's good. Had a couple real close calls. Joe Bednick was was pretty impressive today. 
you feel like there's anything you need to keep improving on to, to make sure they'll start turning into braces and, and hat tricks? Uh, you know, I, I think so. I think, you know, not only, you know, I need to be the one scoring, but, you know, other people had chances too. Um, you know, I can't carry, you know, keep scoring uh, goals, you know, throughout the season, every game. And uh, if we want to if we want to win and make it to the playoffs, you know, everyone needs to, to, to chip in and, you know, put some in. Well, good run today. Thank you. Mike, coming in the game a little bit later than you're than you're used to. What were your instructions going in to try and, and pull a goal back? Um, just to help get a little bit more rhythm, um, to kind of possess the ball a little bit more than we were, um, and kind of bring a little bit more energy to the game. Before the season, you were talked about as as the center midfield, and they were really going to push you into that that cam role. Now you're playing back on the right. Do you have a preference? Uh, no, uh, I just want to be out on the field, just like everyone else. So. Uh, I'm fine if they put me in the mid, in center mid, or out, out wide either side. This team tends to be, you know, chasing the game for most of it, and then in the final 20 minutes, there's always that big push. What can you guys do to to make sure that that 90 minutes is 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 more consistent? I think we could uh, basically take that energy and use it just a little a little bit quicker and a little bit sooner in the game. Uh, we know we have it because we're able to do it at the end of every game. So why not do it a little bit earlier? Still an early season. Where do you feel you are? Do you feel like you're up to full to full season readiness, or is, are you with the team still sort of growing into it? Yeah, we're we're all growing into the season. It's still pretty early, but um, we're trying to come together as fast as possible and um, and start uh, getting more points and uh, become a better team. So you you look forward to your favorite opponent, DC United. What does that mean to you when you see them on the schedule? It's exciting. Uh, it's always a very competitive game, and um, I always look forward to playing them. Uh, but, I mean, I look forward to playing every game, so uh, it's not too much different than any other game. But yeah. Obviously, I mentioned it because of your, your little grudge match with Perry Kitchen. What, what do you guys have going between the two of you? Uh, nothing. I, I enjoy playing with him. He's a good guy, and uh, he's a quality player, and he's very competitive just like me, so I always enjoy playing against him. Well, best luck. Thank you. All right, Shane, and good, strong, aggressive match out there. How much of that did you expect? How much was a little over the top, in your opinion? Uh, I thought that, uh, you know, that's just the way we that they play and that we were expecting that coming into the game, that they would sit in and we would have to be patient. And uh, I thought we could have been a little bit more patient. But, uh, you know, they, they get a goal out of nothing, really. And then uh, we're, we're fighting to get back and... Hats off to us for, for getting the goal back and creating more chances to get another one. So uh, just an ugly game all around. What's the chatter on the field? What are you saying? What are the other guys saying as, as the game's getting chewed up and chopped up the way it did? Uh, just to, to be patient. Uh, you know, there's, there's definitely times in that game where you get frustrated and, you know, you want to make the game uh, and, and do something for your team. And uh, that's not what, how we wanted to play going in. We wanted to be patient and to knock the ball around, move it from side to side. And, and get chances that way. So uh, I thought when we did that, uh, we looked good. And when we didn't, we re we forced some things and, and maybe weren't so good. How was your chemistry with Danny Cruz? It seems early in the season you haven't been getting forward as much, maybe a little more today. Uh, yeah, me and, me and Danny have been working together since uh, since we were with the 17. So we know each other's tendencies really well. Uh, he's, he's a natural wide player, so he likes to be out wide and, and get the ball out wide and go at people. So... I've been trying to give him a little bit more space. You know, he's he's good on the dribble. He gets uh, he gets that kind of snowballing effect where he uh, the ball seems to stick at his feet. So uh, he got a couple crosses off today, and uh, you know we'll continue to work together and continue to get better. How does this kind of rough and tumble match set you up for DC United? Uh, good. I mean, I think that they're also a physical team, and uh, they're going to look to do a little bit of the same. Uh, obviously, we'll be on the road, so. Uh, I'm sure they'll press us a little bit more, but uh, it'll be a physical game, and we'll be ready for it. Best of luck. Thank you. Appreciate it. Connor, obviously that's the kind of match that the union brought you in for, lots of banging bodies. How did you feel out there against two very physical center backs? Good. Um, obviously I think that we probably would have liked to have um, done a bit better with the ball and moved it around, but that was the type of the game it was. Um, so, you know, I'm used to that. Your coach took a lot of exception to some of the, the, the non-fouls that, were getting, you know, that weren't getting called against you. 
how do you keep your head when, when you have guys like Abusa Monte just crashing through your back? It's, it's tough. I mean, it's something that I've dealt with uh, for a while. Um, you know, I just try and, and do my best to, to compete, um, use my body, and, uh, you know, a lot of times the calls don't go my way, but that's something that I just have to kind of work through. People know you a lot for your head and your shoulders, but you've been using a lot of nice balls with your feet, obviously set up the goal today. How, how much do you feel like you can help this team creatively on the ground? Uh, I hope a lot. I mean, I think that I'm capable of doing that. Um, we have a lot of guys that are are good soccer players. Um, you know, today was more of a battle uh, than it was, you know, pretty soccer. But we've got to be able to, as a team, you got to be able to do both. You got to be able to play, and there's some games when it gets ugly that you got to be able to work your way through that. Um, and today was one of those games we didn't play very well. We had more chances. We obviously didn't finish well, but in the end, um, you know, you come out with a point. And uh, you have to be, you know, happy with that and move on. Talk about playing with Jack. He's, you know, he was looking for a big, big guy to run off of last year, and you know, he has it with you. How do you feel, you know, after two games playing together, you guys are, are meshing? Great. Uh, he's a very good player. It's been, <clears throat> it's been really uh, enjoyable playing with him. And you know, he's he's been hot, which is good for a forward. So, um, you know, we've had, you know, limited time so far, but it's definitely, uh, you know, it's a long season and. Uh, I think there's a lot of good things to come. Talk us through that bicycle kick. Uh, I was just, you know, it fell to me in that in that area. It's definitely not the kind of acrobatics I'm used to, but I gave it a whirl. Uh, unfortunately, you know, I couldn't find its way in. Wish it would have. Yeah.